Dave Bikes, host of the podcast show Where We Talk Art, and I am here at the Visual Arts Center in Punta Gorda, Florida, and we're just rotating around here. There we go, in Punta Gorda, Florida, and we are starting the virtual open house here at the VAC. That means we are going to be talking with the instructors here at the Visual Arts Center, and we're going to start with Robert Levant. Robert, welcome. Good to see you again, sir. Glad as all, my friend. Good to be back at the VAC. Oh, yeah. Missed it. Yeah. Missed it. Yeah. Well, we missed you, too. I know the students have been missing you. They've been asking about you. Let's let's talk about you for a minute. All right. You were born in Cuba. Yeah. You're from Cuba. Um, you studied in uh, the classical art of uh, realism and Renaissance influences uh, for your art, focused on portrait figure and still lives, right? Yeah. And examples, some great examples we got here. You served in the military. In the Marine Corps, yeah. yeah. thank you for your service. Best all my life, love it. Yeah, yeah, well, glad to hear you, have you here. Um, you got your associates at the Edison College, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, and studied at the Gulf Coast uh, University as well. Yeah, I got my Bachelor's in Arts over there yeah. at uh, GCU. And... Yeah, yeah. You've received plenty of awards for your artwork. Yes. And shows and everything else. And now you are here teaching at the Visual Arts Center. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. How long have you been teaching here? Uh, I've been here for six years. Six years, yeah. yeah, yeah. And charcoal, right? Yeah, I like teaching charcoal. I was looking for a niche and something that wasn't really being taught that much. And I decided, you know, why not go to the charcoal one? I, I love drawing. So these are some uh, examples. These these two are actually from the online class I just did uh, this last summer. So it was what we worked on in class, and this is another example of using the uh, white charcoal, just different ways of working with the exact same materials, just to keep things fresh and, mm -hmm. and exciting. So when you come in, it's not the same old boring thing, you know, change from genders to different size heads to different situations, turning the side and forward, whatever I can do to make things fun for the students so they don't feel like it's just another boring class. Well, I know your classes are boring. I, I've stepped in here from them time to time. You and your students have a lot of fun. Yeah. Learn from each other. Yeah, we, well, I'm a very loud Cuban, so, you know, <laughs> it's genetics, man. You know, we have a lot of fun. We laugh. I, I think yeah. I got the loudest class in uh, Punta Gorda, possibly Florida. And uh, it's just, it's, it's about having fun and doing something that you love and being able to teach people is, is to me, the most rewarding part about doing this. I, I think I like teaching more than I like doing this, you know, more than doing the work, uh, which is weird, but, you know, no, it's a lot it's of good. fun. It's good. Why don't, why don't I ask you something? Um, I want to go back just a little bit. Yeah. You were in the Marine Corps. Yeah. You got out. Yeah. Uh, you, you were discharged there. You were shot. Yeah, I got shot just outside Baghdad in 2003. Mm -hmm. We were going to take the city, and I got, I got shot up pretty bad. And, uh, I was paralyzed. I was pretty messed up for a long time. And then uh, I came back, and uh, for a few years, I just, you know, I didn't know what to do. And my wife, who's uh, always wanted to be a nurse, she went to nursing school and did that. Now she's a nurse practitioner. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, she told me, you know, why don't you go do what you like? You know, go do the art thing. And I'm like, are you crazy? I want to get a real job. And so she's like, no, you've always provided for us. You got your pension, you're good. Why don't you study what you like, and it'll give you peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she always told me how I, I used to teach my Marines how to do things and all that. So I, that last thing on my mind was teaching. I never thought I'd be teaching anything to anyone. Yeah. And um, it, it was a real passion for me now. And, and, and so I went to school and got my bachelor's. And almost as soon as I got done with that, I came over here and met this great organization. And I've been teaching ever since. And I, I love it. And I do workshops uh, year-round, here year and there, you yeah. know. Now, speaking of classes, you do online and on-site. Yeah, uh, I just got done with those two for my online class, and we're doing it again in, on Mondays. Mm -hmm. And my that's an online class. And then the on-site class, if you want to see me face-to-face, -face, is on Tuesdays. Right. Uh, and morning is usually from 9 to 12. Starting Sunday. in October. And that's in October. Yeah. The online classes start, I think. I'm not sure when they start. I think oh, October I think. also. Next week. <laughs> Next week. There you go. There you go. Make sure you're there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Rob, I uh, appreciate you joining us, giving a chance to sit down and, and talk about it. Excited about you coming back. 
And for all of you that are joining us, you can get his supply.